welcome to Belmont Runyon Elementary School. Please take this time to silence your phones. Please take this time to notice the exits. Now you can take this time to represent your neighborhood. Clinton Hill, are you here? Oh goodness, we're getting ready for the party. I'm gonna watch some Netflix. Let's oh. see. Oh, Grey's Anatomy, I love it. Oh yeah. Addison, go back, go back, Addison. Yeah, mm, I love that. Yeah, mm. She's always starting trouble. I, I just can't deal with that. Nope, I need another channel. Oh yes. Mm. And guess what? 
what, folks, we can't do that by ourselves, which is why we have incredible partners like New Jersey Performing Arts Center and Mr. John Schreiber himself. Oh, thank you very much. Hello, South Lord. Thank you for the nice welcome. Um, I have, they gave me all sorts of stuff to read, but I promise, I'm not going to read it. I'm going to be very short. I'm going to read it when I get to the part where I thank, every, thank the right people, so I'm going to make sure I do that. But this is a really exciting night for us. Um, a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, we came up with an idea to build an education and community center on the campus of NJPAC in the downtown. Uh, uh, in one of our parking lots. And we're building that uh, uh, education and community center. In a couple of years, it'll open up and it'll be open seven days a week, nine, 12 hours a day, all sorts of programs for young people, for older adults, for, for families, uh, arts education, um, and, 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 a, and a million things to do. But what we learned when we were out in uh, all of the wards of Newark talking about this education and community center was that folks said, great, wonderful that you're building this, this, uh, this new building downtown, but what are you doing in my neighborhood, right? What about us? What, I, I don't want to have to necessarily uh, uh, take a half an hour to get downtown to go to NJPEC, to go to your community center. Can you do something with us here? And so out of those, out of those comments that we got from, from neighbors, we came up with the idea of the arts exchange. And the first arts exchange is right here in the South Ward with the team and with Glenn Hill. And none of us can imagine a better partner and the ability to work together with all y'all to co-create and to, and to highlight the talent that is here, that's a great gift to us. So in success, there will be arts exchanges in other wards going forward, but for now, the South Ward and Clinton Hill, you guys are the model makers. You guys are the, you guys are the starters. So thank you very much. Now, my thank yous. Uh, bear with me. I want to thank Women at NJPAC. That's a tremendous organization of several thousand women who help fund uh, this work in education and community, uh, especially our president, Faith Taylor. Uh, our EVP, Marguerite Lorenzi, our Managing Director, Sarah Rosen. Uh, I'm also grateful to NJPAC's Council of Elders. These are older adults in our community who have done great service and continue to advise us in a variety of ways, especially around this. Um, uh, and uh, I want to thank your principal, Dr. Washington. Okay. Of course. Our performing artist tonight, the Shabazz Dance Troupe. Yeah. Uh, BNX, who was here a minute ago. The Belmont Runyon Roaring Lions. Okay. And especially the newly formed Clinton Hill House Ensemble, right? And I'm also grateful to the artists of the other side of Newark Project. This is a, yeah. This is a collaboration. Uh, 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 between uh, the city, the Brick City Peace Collective, and the Office of Violence Prevention and Trauma Recovery. I'm especially grateful to award-winning producer and Newark Symphony Hall board member Jerry Wanda, and, yeah, and West Ward Councilman Do-It-All Dupre Kelly, who put in so much work to bring us together. And I'm grateful to Assistant Superintendent Ortiz, and of course, uh, our extraordinary Mayor Roz J. Barack. So, right? And that's how stuff like this happens. A tremendous uh, coalition of the willing. So thank you all for being here. It's an honor to be in your house. Thank you, John. Thank you, NJ Pack. So listen, uh, he already thanked the Dr. Washington, the principal here at Belmont Runyon, for welcoming us into our living room. I want to give a big shout out to Assistant Superintendent Samantha Locke Velez, a Southport strong neighbor who helps us make these kind of things happen. So I'm going to leave the stage, but before I go, I just want to remind you that arts is all around us. Right? We have had a rich history as a community with arts just being who we are. 
whether Mr. Mayor, it was folks coming over to your family's house, listening to your father read poetry from the porch, camped out on your lawn, whether it was us celebrating Wesley Tan as he was one of the first fashion designers to have a studio on Fifth Avenue and compete in the competition of the Versailles, I can't even say it all. But arts has always been around us, even the murals that you see here, the public art, and it is just our pleasure to put you on this stage. And I think already from our first event, we're gonna need a bigger venue. We're gonna be doing big events, small events, so tell a friend, tell a neighbor, if you've ever wanted to learn how to sing, if you've ever wanted to learn how to act, if you've ever wanted to learn how to rap, this is your chance to showcase the talent that exists here in the South Ward. Thank you and enjoy the night. Uh, I want to thank Councilman Dupree Kelly from the West Ward for being here, an artist himself, Lord of the, Lords of the Underground. Brother, you were my ringtone in high school. Should I tell you, you were my ringtone in high school. At this time, I want to bring up our Councilwoman at large, Councilwoman Roundtree, who has come to say a few words on behalf of the Council and present a resolution. Councilwoman Roundtree. represent the people. It is an honor to know that I can stand here watching a collaboration between Clinton Hill, somebody say Clinton Hill, Hill. and New Jersey Performing Arts Center. Come on, clap it up, let's go. So, so I'm going to do this little thing that I normally do um, now that I have this hat of an elected official on. But being a public servant, it is so dear to my heart. And being a public servant, there's a man named John Schreiber, there's a woman named Reverend Aisha Marable, and then there's a brother named Katine. I would like all three of them to please come forward.
the other fragrance of our council and our council president, Lamonica R. McIver, Patrick O. Council. I see you. Come on, come on up here. Yes, Councilman Kelly is here. The board you stand in and sit in right now, our representative, Patrick Council. Sincerely, Raz J. Baraka, Mayor. Now to introduce our Mayor, Councilman Council. Hey, man, good evening, everyone. Y'all give it up for Councilwoman Roundtree one more time. Please, everybody, y'all do better than that. Again, to uh, Principal Washington, who was here, to NJ Pat. Clinton Hill, Action Committee, Kateen. Let's put our hands together for them. Well, we recognize that art changes lives, and so we come tonight to bring art into the community. This art exchange program was a, an extraordinary vision uh, upon everyone here, and more importantly, uh, our mayor, who uh, takes very serious uh, the needs and necessity of art. And so by way of you know, introduction, I know when I was little, I used to get in trouble a whole lot. Uh, and one time we were down south and I told my sister I was going to break the swings because uh, they got me mad. Uh, and my sister went in the house and told my grandmother. And so she kept trying to tell my grandmother what was happening and what was going on. And my grandmother told her to shut up and let him speak for himself. So I'm going to shut up and bring up the mayor of the city so he can speak for himself. Y'all put y'all hands together. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Mayor Raz J. Baraka. South Ward, how y'all doing? Let me just explain, I got my, got my New Jersey Devils jersey on because the New Jersey Devils is in the playoffs. And we, and we play New York today, 
And uh, I got some into the game because I think Mayor Adams is going to be there. Now, he can't be in our city without me being there. Right. We got to send him back across the water. That's right. That's right. <laughs> and we keep the trophy on this side. So, so that, that's what that is. Hopefully, I don't know if you guys get to go see hockey games, but we all, I told you we hockey fans now because we in Newark and you here, so we fans. So we got to cater, cater to us now as well. Clay Hill Community Action. Shout out to Clay Hill Community Action. Please get them a round of applause. What a great work they're doing. And also, Belmont Runyon. In the building with one of the best principals that I know of, Dr. Washington. Listen, I was a principal for a long time, so, you know, I, I know who was actually being principals and who wasn't, so. Doc, Dr. Washington has always been doing an awesome job for us and our children in the city, so thank you for your work. Uh, and New Jersey Performing Arts Center, thank you uh, for loving our city and being committed to Newark uh, because they can continue to do what they're doing downtown and never show up here at all. And there's some people that do that, but they're here in the middle of the South Ward at Belmont Ryan over here. Uh, in the South Ward, so we appreciate you and appreciate the work that you do. I was they, my assignment was to read a poem today, so I was gonna read one poem, but I saw Dr. Washington on the way in here. She said, "I like what we want," so I had to send my uh, one of my guys to run out and go get that just for her. I'll read this one, but uh, if if you go to if you get on if you get on title or any of those things, YouTube, you can get that. You can grab what we want. And you should go check out another album called The Other Side of Newark as well. Some of the that you know. Hopefully they get to do something for you today. What we want. We want to love ourselves freely. Unfettered images of our grandmothers in our dreams. We want to praise our own God. And we want to see his reflection in our children's eyes. We want to draw them blue like jazz with long dreads and thick lips. We want music every day, and especially on Sunday. We want dancing to be a prerequisite for success. We want the blues, jazz, funk, rock, soul, hip-hop, R&B, and the wealth created from it to be our baby's inheritance. And we want it to be taught in every elementary school all over the world. We want to speak for ourselves. Yeah, we want to speak for ourselves, and we don't want handouts. Yeah, we just want everything we created and everything that was created as a result of what we created, and we want it with interest. We need a guaranteed income for all, like education and fresh air and food and water and shelter and be free from sickness and disease. We need long life to collectively oppose death and stagnation. We need ideas and imagination. We should be against the hoods, like sheeted white ones and the ones that take and keep taking from the meat and often defenseless, even the glorified trap. Yeah, we against the trap too. We need our skies to be free from poison, to be able to breathe in sunshine and feel the wind on our faces. We need an end to war and oppression. We need the people to own their own labor. We need every corner in every country develop every community empowered. And we need to turn all right side up. We need the raw materials from the earth used in poverty anywhere it exists. We need the calluses on our hand and a pain in our lower back to be added to our savings. We need health care to be free and information to be free and ideas to be free and the news to be free and learning to be free and the people to be free. Yeah, the people, they got to be free too. We need end of slavery in all forms and in the exploitation. We need all the money in all the banks and every part of the world to be used for our collective benefit. Yeah, we need all the money in all the banks and every part of the world to be used for our collective benefit. We need to outlaw lies and teach the people's history in all language and from the viewpoint of all of us, not just a few of us. We need to allow everyone to vote and be represented no matter where they are, no matter what language they speak, what neighborhood they live in, or who they choose to love. We need to dismantle the electoral college and make racism and white supremacy illegal. We need to ban the Confederate flag and label every monument to genocide with a red letter or just plain tear them down and replace them with statues of black and brown women that carried us through the darkest moments of history. We need to destroy all nuclear weapons, but first start with automatic weapons. We need to replace the war on drugs with a war on ignorance. We need to destroy the pipeline and cages and use the savings to develop the human spirit to treat illness, social, mental, and physical. We need freedom. Not just the Bill of Rights, but the right to build our own lives, be free from destituteness and hatred and hungry children, free from sickness with cures and underdevelopment and cold winter nights with no heat, free from losing our land, our block, our community, our homes, free from choking to death in our own backyard, yeah, free from schools that undermine our 
self-esteem, free from praising those that lynched us. Yeah, we need to be free from praising those that lynched us and free to pray in any language we choose and anyone we, we choose to pray to. We need to be free how, how we define it, yeah. Free enough to know that the world is made up of all of us, not just some of us, and that only when all of us are free, none of us will be. That our collective existence is tied directly to our individual existence, yeah. Coexistence with ourselves of one big we. One big outrageous we, yeah. This is what we want and what we need, yeah. What we want and what we need, yeah. What we want, need, what need, what need, yeah. This is what we want and need, what we want, what we want and need, we need it now. We need it now, this very moment in the now and the forever and the now and the forever and the now and the forever and the forever now and the forever now and the now and the forever and the forever now. We need it now, we need it now, we need it now. Like a shower all over our body, yeah. Like a shower all over our body. We need it. Like the sunshine kissing our faces, yeah. Like the sunshine kissing our faces.
about what you want to see.
Make sure you get your life in this house. Y'all snap and clap for the principal of Belmont Runyon Elementary School, Dr. Denise Washington. Where are you, doctor? <laughs> Everybody, give yourselves a hand. Students and parents of Belmont Runyon School, 
we would like to welcome you to our living room. This is where we occupy our time and educate our minds to do better so that we could go out in the world and make changes. But changes are already happening because the CEO of New Jersey Performing Arts Center is here in our living room. That's an amazing space to be in. I appreciate all of you as community members, and we need you to continue to grow at Belmont Runyon School. So again, thank you for coming, and we hope you are enjoying the exchange. Dr. Washington, please keep talking. <laughs> I'm the principal, but everybody tells me what to do. You get that, right? That's how it works around here, pretty much. I think that must mean that they're bringing out my little special babies. Yeah, the, my babies, they're great. Belmont Ryan, we still have seats available. Pre-K three, pre-K four, kindergarten through grade eight. We have a gifted and talented program, a visual and performing arts program. I'm just saying, every opportunity you have, you have to speak your things into existence. Please go to North and Rose and learn about Belmont Ryan School. We have room in our living room and in our classes. Again, Belmont is open. Can we please give it up one more time for the Belmont Runyon School? We have, we have a tough act to follow. We had some other sing, uh, dancers, so we're gonna try and do do something uh, vocally. If you're just glad to be alive tonight, can I just hear you make some noise? So that whole row, and nobody in the back was clapping, if you're glad to be alive tonight, can I hear you make some noise? Here we go. Have you ever felt like nobody was there? 
and empowered woman. We love her very much. Snap it up and clap it up for our mom. Raise your hand. 
Okay. Oh, you pointing people out, huh? Oh, you pointing people out? Oh, okay. Altos, raise your hand. <laughs> she proud. Thank you. Loud and proud. Altos. When you see it on the flyer, it says arts at clintonhillaction.org. That's me. You know, you, yes, yeah, snap it up for arts at clintonhillaction.org. I am going to be connecting you and helping you plug into the resources that are already here. So we want all, we want to meet everybody. We want to see your art. We want to put you on the stage. Okay? We ready to do your thing, man. Okay, so like I was saying, thank you. We ready. Um, yes. Um, yeah, so this next person that we're bringing up, I call him a fabulous human being. You know, and I say, it's not very funny, but he is someone that you don't have to wonder about. Okay, snap it up for not having to wonder. Okay, he is a producer, a writer, an artist extraordinaire. Y'all clap and snap for Mr. Jerry Wonder. You know the vibes. First of all, I really want to say thank you to, to um, NJ Pack. This is what we're talking about. We needed this. Around my time, I put this up. Do you know Lauren Hill? Yes. When I did Killing Me Softly. Okay? Thank you. Uh, you know Mary J. Blige? I did 911. Do you know Shakira? I did hips don't lie. Oh. Do you know Carlos Santana? Oh. I produced Maria Maria oh. from here. Oh. Yeah, I won three Grammys. I'm a co-chairman for the Grammys for producers. And I heard the singers in here. Please, you want to see me? Because I, I work with Whitney. I don't know. I'm looking for my next Whitney Houston. And I know it's right here. And you're back. John, I see you. We're going to do this together. Um, about a year ago, I got invited. Um, big shout out to our mayor, Roz Walker. Let, let's clap for Roz. He's doing such a great job. And he said, Jerry, you sold over 200 million records for all the work you've done. Can we do something together? And uh, I said, cool, we create something called the other side of Newark. Anybody from the, we pick up the 10 artists, 10 songs, 10 videos, 
And now before I start, the artists are gonna come out. They're from here, they're from the east, the west, the south, you know, the north, central, 10 artists, two artists of different wards. Before I do that, we did our first video, we're doing 10. They're all done. I wanna share, it's not done yet. Before the artists, can I share a video with you? Yeah. Anybody from Shabazz? Yeah. Anybody from Wood? Hey. Okay, now you're gonna see the band. The band, all the videos come, is connected to school. Big shout out to the Board of Education. Please, they're doing a great job. They're helping me put in all the videos together. So please, let's bring the lights down. All the light. And can we start the video from the top? Right. Marcus, let's start for Marcus. Come on, everyone, please. Yeah. Uh, let's do it. Right. We ready, Marcus? Let's do it.
Just a distraction of you 